3240 Lakeview Road. Got it. Now, don't let anyone touch the body or anything around it. We'll be right there. Joe, send a squad car. Hello, Tracy. Tracy isn't here. This is Pat Patton. We'll try to find him, Pat. It's important. Homicide. 2240 Lakeview Road. Okay, I'll see what I can do. It's murder, he says. Does that mean Mr. Dick Tracy won't have dinner with me tonight at all? Oh, sure, sure, Tess, you'll eat. Mm-hmm, that sounds very much like something Dick said nearly four hours ago. Well, at least you got this far. This far? I'm now engaged to a major to homicide squad. <laughs> Why didn't I fall in love with a retired businessman? I'll get Tracy. Maybe he can answer that one. Johnny, you might as well talk. Who robbed that payroll truck? Let me handle him, Tracy. I think I can make him talk. We're waiting, Johnny. Homicide, Dick. Just got the call. You better step on it. 2240 Lakeview Road. Murder, 9-11 Laurel? 9-11 Laurel? That's where I live. My mother. You said murder. My mother's there. What's happened to her? I gotta get to my mother. I've gotta find out who robbed that payroll truck. Who are you shielding, Johnny? I gotta get out of here. Who held up the truck? Flip Gordon. Your mother's all right, Johnny. But you just said that... The only way I could get you to talk and clear yourself at the same time. All right, boys, clean up Johnny and send him home. Tell the chief it's okay. And pick up Flip Gordon. Yes, sir. Dirty trick to play on a kid, but I knew he was innocent. That was the only way I could make him talk. And you gave me the idea. I must be improving. All the time. Hey, Dick. How about Tess? Holy smoke, our dinner date. She must be starved. Make yourself comfortable, Tess. We'll only be a few more minutes. But Dick, I... teacher named Dorothy Stafford, about 40 years old, quiet, few friends, lived a couple of houses down the block. Any trace of the murder weapon? No. The only thing we found so far is Miss Stafford's handbag. Who reported it? Mr. Hill, but he wasn't the first to reach the body. Oh, she's over here. Miss Stanley, this is Detective Tracy and Detective Patton. How do you do, Miss Stanley? Did you see anybody in the block before you found Miss Stafford? No. A friend drove me home from work and let me out on the corner. I didn't see or hear anyone until I got right here. And then these people started coming out of their houses. Just a few seconds earlier, it would have been me lying there. Nobody would have any reason to kill Miss Stafford. Could have happened to any of us. Only a fiend could have slashed it like that. Have one of the boys take Miss Stanley home. Get their names. Right. Miss Stanley? What's your name, Miss? Pat Chandler. at the Lyceum Hall. Say, that's where she was coming from when she got knifed. Twenty dollars and some silver. Well, that rules out robbery. The neighbors are right. We've got a maniac to find. Identification card. Balance of seventeen hundred dollars. No recent withdrawals. in small bills and put in Street Sweeper's trash can. Corner of Lakeview and Ash at 8 tomorrow night. Splitface. I can spell better than that. He spells the important words all right. Yeah, Mr. Splitface knows how to spell $500. Dick. Tracy? <sighs> what time is it? Why, it's a little late, Tess. It's almost 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock? Guess that's all for tonight, Pat. We may as well go home.
one thing, it's another. Dick Tracy residence. Mrs. Carraway speaking. Who? Oh, hello, Mr. Patton. Oh, no, I wouldn't think of calling Mr. Tracy now. He didn't get home till 3 or 4 o'clock this morning. I'm sure he's exhausted. He's in a coma. He's in a coma. Oh, uh, just a minute, Mr. Patton. Just a minute. Morning. Morning. Hello, Pat. Dick, anything wrong? The chief wants us over at the mayor's office. Too sweet. I'll pick you up right away. Mayor's office. I'll be ready. Mayor's office. Hmm. Junior had his breakfast yet? Oh, an hour ago. He's upstairs in his room, working on a very strange case. I'll see what he's up to. you got there? Something mighty funny happened around here last night. That so? Yeah, there was a prowler in the house. Anything missing? Yeah, plenty. Any clues? I'm afraid I'll have to fingerprint you. Hey, you don't suspect me. Mrs. Carraway says a lot of stuff is missing from the icebox. <laughs> yeah, they sure do. Look at these, Dick. You got me dead to rights, officer. You better talk. Might as well come clean. It'll go a lot easier on you if you do. And on your accomplice, too. How'd you know I wasn't alone? Lipstick. Tess? Yeah. But I'm taking the rap. It was too late to go to a restaurant, so we... We raided the kitchen. Oh, heck, you confess too easy. I thought this case would take me all day. So you could stay out of school? Let's go. Oh, good morning, Mr. Patton. Good morning. 